Hello everyone. Um, it is actually Tuesday morning, but I'm going to be doing my weekly setup in my planner. Um, and I will bring you guys along to see, to like show you guys how I use the um, Hobonichi Weeks and also how I use the weekly section in the Hobonichi Cousin. Um, the Hobonichi Cousin is pretty simple, so I think we're gonna start with that. Um, and I'm sorry for any background noise. I do live next to a busy street, and so you'll probably hear the cars. Um, I also do have my emotional support tea here. Um, I'm trying out a new tea. It's ginger peach flavor and I'm super excited. It's still a little bit too hot to sip on. And this is my new mug. It's a Snoopy mug. I'm super, super in love with this mug right now. I've been using it for my tea every day just the past three days because it's very new um and i also do have my bottle of water next to the tea so let's take out this ruler and the weekly section so you can see last week um i didn't use my weekly section as much as I would like to. Um, and I also didn't decorate it at all. I think I do want to like decorate it a little bit if I get around to it, but it's okay. Um, so this week, let me first pick out the washi tape for the week. So this is my Alex drawer and on the top shelf I have all of these washi tapes um on the second shelf i also have a little bit more washi tapes this is from simply gilded and i have some random stragglers over here um but i think let's choose from this top shelf today um usually i like to go for a tcmc washi um it is christmas though this week so let me see if i have any christmas ones i th thought i'd oh here. here here we go the tcmc christmas washi this is the one okay we are back at my table so here we're gonna put down the washi first and i put the, this at the bottom of the page because I usually sleep at around 11. The latest I'll go is 12, so I don't need all of this space here. Um, and so I just cover part of it up. Um, and so I'm going to put my trackers on this side. Last week, I didn't really use them and I moved a lot of my tracking into the Hobonichi weeks. So that's why there's only two habits here now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to... Because there's only two habits, this looks a little weird because it's so empty. Um, but I think I'm gonna keep this for now because it works. Um, and then in the past, I've written like some weekly to-dos. Um, and here I have like, oh, I forgot I used to do this. These are like, um, habits that I do every week. So for example, washing my water bottle, watering the plants, tracking my spending, um, cleaning the apartment. Okay, I can do this too uh, on here. So let's, let's first put my habits, no spend, read news. Monday, 
Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yesterday, I know we definitely read the news. No spend. Did I spend money yesterday? I don't think I spent money from what I remember. Um, okay. And then I'm going to use these dot stickers. I just got these off of AliExpress. Um, let's see. First, we have what was it? A oh, wash water bottle. And then track spending. water plants um, clean apartment Those are my habits. And then I work a traditional nine to five. So I like to block off that time with a marker. Um, this week I'll use either green or brown. Like I try to get colors from the washi tape. So I think I'll go with green. Yeah. So, 9 o'clock. To 5 o'clock. And I put like the big things that happen at the top, like big events or just like major memories. So for example, last week, um, this was my company holiday party and I took my first hip hop class. On Friday, I watched Aquaman with my boyfriend. The 16th, we celebrated our anniversary. And on Sunday, we went to see Wonka in theaters. Um, and then Monday through Wednesday, nothing really interesting happened, so I didn't write anything there. But here on Wednesday, I know it's going to be my company's cocktail party. And then on Sunday, we are going to my in-law's Christmas party. So That's everything that I know so far. Um, I'm gonna put this on my calendar already. So cocktail party. And I'm actually not sure when it ends. So I'm not going to draw an arrow. Um, the commute's gonna take an hour though. And then yesterday, I like to just time block it as I go, but I didn't use this planner yesterday. So I'm going to backfill what happened yesterday. Commute, commute, gym, two, seven, thirds, no, look here, dinner. And I 
think I woke up. Okay. So this is what the weekly section of my Hobonichi cousin looks like so far. It's a very simple, no frills layout. And now we're gonna move on to the Hobonichi Weeks. Okay, so this is my spread for last week. Um, I think I finally figured out a layout for this notebook that I like. I mean, knock on wood. But before, I was having so much trouble figuring out what I wanted to track in here. Um, and like my needs also changed, so that's, that also complicated things. But yeah, I've tried a bunch of different layouts and I think this one suits my needs. Oh no, sorry. This one suits my needs for now. So here we have trackers for like all of my habits. Um, these are diet related ones. So like taking my vitamins, getting protein shake, etc. These are workout ones. So like stretching, going to the gym, doing a Peloton workout, etc. And then here i'm tracking my sleep um i have an apple watch so this is very easy to backfill i actually need to backfill for sunday um but basically this top line is how much time i spent in bed and then the bottom filled line is how much time i was actually asleep and then here i have an app where i track my calories and i just put my total calories for each day in here so that um, I can quickly see how many calories I'm getting. Over here, I'm tracking my steps. It only goes up to 1700 and some days I go more than that, but I just put it there. And then computer science, I've been trying to study computer science um, it's slow going. As you can see, the most I ever studied on one day was an hour last week um, because right now it's not my number one focus, but I do want to try to study a bit more. And then here I have my to do's um, regarding video editing and studying. As you can see, I did not get a lot of stuff done last week, unfortunately. Um, the week before that, I did a lot better but oh well. And then this tracking, I think I'm gonna change it. I actually already did change it, but I changed it to like social media trackers. So like posting on Instagram, posting a YouTube video, stuff like that. Um, and then on this side, I split it into three sections. So the first section is for studying. I'll just write down um, like, a brief description of what I studied. So you can see here my goals. These were the big topics that I wanted to study. And so um, I studied the first thing on these three days and I never finished it, but yeah. And then this is for video editing. Um, this one is for my journaling channel and this one is for my like main channel and then here I put dot stickers to represent the workouts that I did so blue is for upper body red is lower body I mean sorry pink is lower body um, red is for dance and orange is for cardio so I'm just going to duplicate this layout onto the next week with my ruler and I do write very sideways so I'm going to move the notebook sideways See, two four six eight two 
All right, so this is my finished setup for this week. Um, it's very similar to last week, so I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, but I basically put down the color stickers because I know what workouts I'm gonna be doing for most of these days. And then I have my like diet tracker habit, di dieting habit tracker. Uh, my workout habit tracker, my social media habit tracker, and then I have trackers for sleeping, calories, steps, and studying for computer science, and I have some goals for editing and studying. So yeah, that is my setup for the weeks.